Hello and welcome. If you just downloaded Godo, which I did here in this folder, and I prepared a folder for the project and I prepared a folder for exporting it. So when you download it, go do for the first time, you want to probably just check how export works, whether it works at all. Because if it doesn't, then what is the editor good for you if you can't create games? So once you start it, just press close and then new project. And then just copy the folder path for the test project. Right in here, let's just call it go do test and create an edit. And this is what you get. So let us simply try to extract this, uh, export this as an exe for Windows. We're going to go to project and export. And here we see nothing and it can be quite confusing. But over here, the add button, you have to add one export target, I think you would call this, or a compile target. So we're just going to go for Windows desktop. We're going to keep 64 bits, even though for tiny games, uh, 32 would be better. Let's just keep it called Windows Desktop. In the resource section, we're going to keep export all resources in project, even though there are other options. So if we try to export this, however, it doesn't work. It's uh, disabled. It says no export template found at so-and-so. So we're going to have to click manage export templates. And uh, this one, actually, you can reach us from editor, manage export templates. It says that it's missing, so we're just going to hit download. And uh, then, confusing, you have to pick a link, like you have to click this. Only then it starts. 300 megabytes, I think it's about 600 unpacked. And you're just going to have to wait for this. 40 seconds later. If for some reason this doesn't work, you can go to the website of Godot, to the download slash windows, for example, page. And there you can click export templates and it'll download a .tpz file, which I think you can just drag into Godot. Oh, no, you, you will be able to then install from file here. But we're going to cancel this and let Godot do its thing. One minute later. All right, here it is. It's done. We're going to close this and go back to Project Export. And we're just going to... What the... Okay, still no export template found. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to save the scene. Um, okay, I guess we're just going to have to close the pro... Yep, yep, quit. And then we're just going to start to go do again. And uh, it saved the project, so we can just double click this. Okay, we're back. Now, hopefully, it loaded the thing. If we click this, yes, there's no more warning about some export target missing. Oh, go do. Anyways, we can now hit export project. It will suggest the uh, project folder, which seems like a very, very, very bad idea to me. Like if you create the files, then it will try to import them. So let's uh, hit the go to parent folder uh, icon and go to the folder I created for this. So go to export. And we're just going to call it. Let's see, we can, yeah, we can only do an exe. Yeah, pff, test one and save. Okay, that was it, wasn't it? If we go to the Godot export folder, okay, yes, we have a test1.exe file, the Godot engine, the Godot launcher, and test1.pck. PCK. All right, let's try it out. I said let's try it out. Okay. Well, it does export, but it doesn't run because we don't have a main scene. So how do we set a main scene? Well, first of all, we need a scene, uh, and we cannot save this scene. Because reasons. This operation can't be done without a tree root. Then just create a tree root, come on! So let's create a child node. Uh, let's create a sprite. Here we go. And uh, just drag in the icon as a sprite. Because why not? Then we see something at least. The icon should be there by default. Alright, so now let's try to save a scene. We're just gonna... Okay, sprite is a bad name for a scene. Let's call it scene test and enter and it saves. Can we export already? Let's try to export it. Test one, save, yes, over right. And it's done, I think. And we can try it. Same problem as before. No main scene defined. Anyway, so we're gonna go to project, project settings. Ah, and here in application run, we have to set the main scene and we have to Select the file. 
Right, let's just pick this one, scene test, and uh, close. And now if we hit export in project, and just export, and just save, and overwrite, why is there no progress bar? Then we can run this, right? Yep, we can totally run this. We cannot do anything, but we can start the game. Excellent! The runnable option here at the top right, by the way, seems to be relevant for Unix-style operating systems for Linux and macOS games. Basically, just leave it on. Alright, hope this helped, make sure to subscribe, and hope to see you in the next video. Have fun making games. Ciao!